a pessimistic trader. Hi, it's Charlie giving you Saturday's video. So what do I mean by this? What I'm talking about a lot of this is you need to under promise yourself and then let the market over deliver if at uh, those times that it is going to over deliver. So there are lots of traders who get into a trade, the trade starts moving a bit and then they go into this period where they're just wishing and hoping that it's going to get to their target or to the point where they can be trading their stock on and, and and essentially hoping that it's not going to fail. Now, if you visualize the trade failing um, and you're or and you've you're expecting that, then if it does happen, you're not then getting as emotional. This is all about controlling your emotions. You're not as emotional if then it rolls back, it rolls over. The trade was fine. As long as your trade set up an out entry, you're according to your rules, your trade plan was all fine, then it's all good. And so if you're expecting that, or at least allowing for that mentally, it can sound a bit pessimistic, but there's no point being that trader who's like, please, yeah, go to go up to my target, whatever, because then when they do roll over, you're going to feel it more. You'll feel the emotions more. So let me go for an example with you here today. We've got a lovely, this is a good, nice example, actually. Let's take this pound dollar. Okay, so the interesting thing with the, this pound dollar at the moment is that overall, it really has been uh, not up to too much over this uh, last what few weeks it's been in a range here of whatever it is a couple of hundred pips it's stuck in a range so let's say that you've been um, trading this you've been in from back down here and uh, you're, in an, you're in a reasonable amount of profit and the market starts to test you so you, you sort of it's just chopping around so there's nothing wrong um, with what it's doing but it may be testing you emotionally so again if at least if you're allowing for a market to get to, to chop around because that's another thing that happens it may still carry on going up for you towards whatever your target may be but in the meantime it's getting a bit choppy and might be testing your patience and things like that and so again you need to visualize these things that most market moves there are periods where markets chop around like back here or, or do pullbacks like here before then going up again there are plenty of times in the market when markets get choppy and so you just gotta remind yourself of all that when you're in this trade let's say and you've been long and it's not really doing much um, that you've got to stay with it and so it's going to test your patience and um, so if you're a little bit more pessimistic so to speak using that word where you're saying okay yeah this might actually just chop around for another however long um, another couple of weeks or, or more well do I still want to be in this or or should I stay with my plan you know which is more likely you should stay with your plan I think if you start jumping out saying oh no I don't want to be in that I'll put my money to good use use somewhere else and then all of a sudden it breaks out so um, if you visualize this stuff visualize don't visualize the pound uh, whatever this is yeah the pound breaking out to the upside uh, you can do that because at some point if it does break out to the upside you might still have to visualize how you're going to trade manage it and all of that but you need to visualize and think about well what if it carries on chopping around so that if it does carry on chopping around you, again you're you're limiting desensitizing the frustrations that you would otherwise feel it of course is frustrating if you get into a market and it starts going sideways like the pound like this um, having said that if you work on that side of the mindset then you limit the amount of frustration you have and likewise you're in an open profit if it might still roll all the way over and then trading stop you out again visualize that so that if it does roll all the way over and stop you out that you've already visualized it anyway that you're not then sitting there having this emotional reaction saying I should have done this I should have done that that's 
leave that to the retail traders out there around the world who don't watch this channel <laughs> because that's what they're doing all the time looking to try and fix something and think oh i should have done it this way or that way um you just have to um, stay with it all and manage your mindset that's enough for me today flew this week so uh, limited videos for me this week so uh, hopefully uh, back uh, deflued next week